on April 7th in Minneapolis, Minnesota, seven of the nation's top collegiate robotics teams competed in the Land O'Lakes Bot Shot. This was a super fun event. It was really high energy, a lot more exciting than some of the other robotics competitions that we've done. Just the energy was amazing. Well, the event was a great experience because it was the closest to a sports competition as our robots ever competed in. And just being in that atmosphere was a lot of fun and working with the other teams. Basketball legends Christian Leitner and David Robinson were on hand to take in the contest. So this was exciting. I, I really did enjoy this. It was a blast seeing those young guys try to figure out all those variables. Well, I mean, I'm an engineer at heart. That's kind of my, my passion. When I went to college, I wanted to be an engineer. This is high level stuff and I was very impressed with these kids. Well, the problem was to design a robot that could shoot a basket from pretty much anywhere from half court to right under the hoop. So we got the kit and the competition back in December and we built all of our robot in CAD or computer aided design first. So we pretty much knew how it was going to go together. And then we built it in the last couple weeks for a little stressful trying to get the vision working and stuff. Very tight timeline, um, especially in the last few weeks as we we're pulling everything together is quite the time crunch. The most stressful part about everything in the past few months is just making sure that whatever we had to shoot the ball would be powerful enough and would have enough range to actually be able to do all those different types of shots. When we showed up here yesterday, it could take the basketball, put it into the shooter, and it went about two feet up in the air and right back down. Because it wasn't working, we were like, you know, as long as we you know, make a basket or two during this competition, we're, we're pretty happy with that. And then it kind of just ended up like this. The final four teams squared off in the game of horse, and when the score was tallied, South Coast State and the University of Wisconsin-Madison were both awarded $10,000. We were honestly so excited to make it to the final two and then finding out that we were both getting the $10,000 is just incredible. Competing in competitions like this is extremely valuable experience for an engineer to get practical experience outside of just rote problems in class.